So I think we need to talk about the future of Pokemon games and if they're becoming less original and if they're running out of ideas. Pokemon games have always had a certain charm to them as long as they've been around, but something has kind of felt off within the recent years of Pokemon. Also quickly, I'm doing a giveaway for a $20 eShop gift card when I hit 10,000 subs, so just make sure to leave a like and comment down below letting me know that you've entered and make sure to stay tuned for future videos. First of all, I just want to mention that I love all Pokemon games. Pokemon is definitely my favorite like franchise of video games. I've enjoyed every single game I've played. I'm not here to hate on Pokemon as a company or as games. I personally really enjoy them, but the whole idea behind this video is like, are they really running out of ideas? Are the games becoming less original? Are, is the quality going down and all of that? So I think most people would agree that the last few Pokemon games were just okay, like nothing mind-blowingly amazing. I mean, in my opinion, every single Switch Pokemon game that we've received have all been really unique in their own way. Like the Pokemon Company have definitely been experimenting with the Switch. Every game has been so much different than the last. Like Sword and Shield, Legends Arceus, Scarlet Violet, they're all different from each other with like the graphics and animations and everything like that. But even with that being said, I feel like there's just been something missing with some of the recent games. Like think of the originals, Gen 2, 3, and 5. They have set the bar so high. They've set everyone's expectations so high because they were just great games. And the games that followed those just didn't hit the same for some reason. I personally really like Gen 6, but I know a lot of people aren't too fond of X and Y. I honestly think that X and Y are eventually going to get the love that they deserve though. But other than that... You know, Gen 7, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, which in my opinion were strange games. I don't like Sun and Moon. I think Sun and Moon might be my least favorite Pokemon game. Everyone kind of agrees with that though. So it's, you know, that's whatever. But that was like 10 years ago almost at this point. So it's always important for games like Pokemon to change it up a bit. So it's not so repetitive since all of the Pokemon games are relatively similar. Like, you know, you, you start off with one Pokemon, you have an enemy, you train more Pokemon and level them up and everything. So it's kind of a similar concept, but each game has like, you know, their own storyline and different gimmicks and everything like that. But it's also important to not change like the foundation of the series. So moving along to more modern day Pokemon games, starting off, we got Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Those are the first games on the Switch, our first Pokemon games on the Switch, which were nothing special. I mean, they were okay. I didn't really enjoy them too much. I just felt like it was, I just was playing Gen 1, like straight up. I don't know. It was, it was okay. I kind of just wish we had a new gen to start off on the Switch rather than getting the remakes, but whatever. Sword and Shield honestly have grown on me. I really did not like Sword and Shield at all when I first played them, but I definitely like them a lot more than I used to. I think one of the main issues with the newer Pokemon games is that they're just not as replayable as the old ones for some reason. In my opinion though, Legends Arceus is the best Pokemon game on the Switch. I really think the game was really creative and they switched up the formula in a great way with that game. Like they changed the whole format of the game but also kept its roots the same. I just thought it was a great game honestly. And then, you know, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, they were fun, but nothing new was introduced. It was kind of cool to go back to Gen 4, but but as far as remakes go, they were very mid, I guess. And the most recent games, of course, Scarlet and Violet, in my opinion, were really, really fun. But the bugs and glitches lowered my overall experience and enjoyment with the game. I was surprised that I didn't really mind the unspecific order of the gyms and the freedom to go pretty much wherever I want and can around the map. But you know, there are just so many issues with Scarlet and Violet, which who knows if it's because of the Switch's hardware. You can make the argument that Breath of the Wild doesn't have these issues and it's looked and the game looks better, but whatever. I don't necessarily think there are any bad Pokemon games. I just feel like the magic hasn't been there compared to the old Pokemon games. My next point is oversaturation. So it's no secret that Game Freak, the Pokemon company, whatever, they've been releasing a ton of Pokemon games over the last several years, whether it be mainline, side games or whatever, a lot of mini games like Pokemon Sleep, Unite, and all those. You know how it goes. If any company or brand releases too many of the same things within a short period of time, it could lead to people being tired of it or it could also lead to a lack of new and creative ideas. So with that being said, I want to bring up this little point right here. There was an interview a few months ago from Comic Book, which is a website, and they interviewed Takato Utsunomiya. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I don't mean to pronounce it wrong if I am. But anyways, they asked him about the future releases of mainline and spinoff Pokemon games, to which he replied, 
I think in general, if you look in the past, the path we've taken up till now has been this consistent release, always regular releasing products on a fairly fixed kind of, of a cadence. You might say, always having these products able to be introduced and new experiences for customers, and that's how we've operated up until now. I think we're still operating in that way, but there's more and more conversation as the development environments change about how we can continue to do this while making sure that we are ensuring really quality products are also being introduced. I think that's a pretty important piece of information about the future of Pokemon games. He doesn't specifically say that they're slowing down production of games, but it seems like they understand and they've heard what fans have said about some of the recent Pokemon games and they're aware that the quality of the recent games haven't really met expectations in a way. I think this is great to hear. I think this is great news because it shows that they care enough about the customers, the players, and the games to work harder to make better quality games and better quality releases that are more creative and enjoyable for the fans. I think it's great how he mentioned how he wants the players to have new experiences with Pokemon games, so this kind of ensures us that the creativity is not gone from Pokemon games. It shows that they're working hard to create new storylines, new creative gimmicks, and new Pokemon games that don't feel stale. Not saying that the newest games feel stale necessarily, they just, in my opinion, the magic just isn't there. Overall, I don't necessarily think that Pokemon is running out of ideas. I do honestly feel like a little more effort needs to be put into some of the mainline games. I don't know if it's because they've been making a lot of side games or if they just can't make better quality games because of the Switch's hardware because as everyone knows, you know, Nintendo hardware is always a few years behind. But also last night I was thinking like, I can't believe that the Switch has USB-C because the USB-C port was really new around 2017. And I was like, I, I can't believe that the Switch has a USB-C port on it. Because even some brands now don't even have USB-C. Like, I'm pretty sure the iPhone this year is the first iPhone with USB-C. I might be wrong on that. But I honestly think that Pokemon will continue to release solid titles. And I'm also hopeful that the next Nintendo console is going to be powerful enough to produce even better quality Pokemon games. Like, imagine if Scarlet and Violet had toned up graphics and no lag and no bugs. I think the fans would have loved Scarlet and Violet. Like, overall, Scarlet and Violet are great games. I, I honestly really enjoy the open world experience with Pokemon because it makes me feel like I am in the game more so than playing a character in the game, even though I do love the original games. Like, I love Black and White, you know, Gen 1, Gen 2, 3, 4, whatever. I love all those games, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, I like the open world style as well. But one thing that I do want to quickly mention though is that I believe that the ideas and designs for like the Pokemon themselves have been getting a little, you know, iffy. Some designs of Gen 9 were great, you know, Baxcalibur was great, Tinkaton was great, but in my opinion, a majority of the Gen 9 Pokemon just had straight up bad designs. Like, I don't really like the starters' evolutions. Like, I like the starters' first evolution, but all the starters second and third evolution in my opinion are just kind of like what the heck is that i think this is definitely a challenge that the pokemon company is going to continue to face just because there are already so many pokemon out there and i remember watching a video or reading an article i don't remember what it was exactly but basically i remember learning about how someone that worked for the designing part of pokemon said that so many designs have to become scrapped because they're too similar to pokemon that have already been made in the past it's definitely tough to make a Pokemon. I mean, it just kind of sucks that some of them are just like literal animals. Like Flamingo is just a Flamingo. Like that's crazy to me. But whatever, I guess we'll see. I think that they're still going to be able to come up with creative ideas because with Gen 9, like I said, there are some really awesome designs, but there are also some mid designs and stuff. But I feel like they're also going to kind of go on the side of making more regional variants in the future because that doesn't involve creating an entire new Pokemon, it just kind of involves changing up a current Pokemon already. But let me know what you guys think, let me know if I missed any key points here. Overall guys, I love Pokemon as a company and the games, they're all fun. I just hope that the quality of them goes up. I don't necessarily think that they're running out of ideas, I think that they're still experimenting and I still think they have a lot of creativity behind them and left to give us. So. Yeah, I don't think Pokemon is going anywhere anytime soon, but I do think it's good if they slow down production just a little bit. I I don't mind that at all if it means we're going to get better quality Pokemon games. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.